New at 6, we're learning more about a Chattanooga man still on the, on the loose, accused of firing shots at two contractors this morning. The SWAT team staged outside the man's home for several hours today, and later they went inside the man's home, but he was already gone. News Channel Line's Jerry Askin is streaming live on Igo Gap Road near Jenkins, where it all started. Jerry? That's right, Calvin. The home behind me is where all the commotion took place here earlier today. The good news, no one here was injured. Now, I spoke to one neighbor today who knew all the loans. Something wasn't right here. Him being still on the list kind of has me concerned, actually. And he's not the only one concerned. Looking at this video, you can see why. Dozens of officers. Even the SWAT team took over Igo Gap Road near Jenkins Road earlier today. Police officers surrounded this home looking for 47-year-old Gerald Scott Rousingville. Apparently, two contractors came to his home this morning. A fight broke out about money Rousingville allegedly owes the men. They say he got upset and grabbed the gun and started firing at them. After several hours, officers made their way inside to find that their man was gone. My wife called me. I was at work at the time. She said that the police are here in the neighborhood getting citizens out of their homes for their safety. We left, like I say, go vote, and there wasn't nobody at home. And when I come back, I run into this mess right here. Tonight, we're learning police have responded to incidents at this home several times in the past. Neighbors we talked to say they're actually not shocked to hear what happened. There's always been some suspicious activity across the street. We couldn't tell, you know, weird cars going in and out. And as police canvassed the area all afternoon, searching for Roundsingville, the thought of him still on the loose has many neighbors on edge. It's scary because there's our people that walk up and down through here a lot, but hopefully it's not anything that we have to worry about any further. And we actually, the police actually issued a warrant today for Rosenfield's arrest. He's actually warranted for attempted first degree murder. Now we checked Rosenfield's criminal history today. He's actually found history of he's accused of DUI and reckless driving actually this year. Now coming up here at 11, we'll have the latest on the search for Rosenfield. I'm Jerry Askin reporting here in Chattanooga. Back to you all. Okay, thanks, Jerry.